Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 18th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a mixed bag of results with the diamonds pushing lower, but all the other indexes holding up relatively well, and the QQQ even squeaked out a little tiny gain on the on the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we've got a busy day ahead of us, a lot of uncertainty in the market. So let's jump right into these charts. First off, we saw the Dow um, kind of reversing here just a little bit. We smacked into a little bit of price resistance here. And um, if you'll notice right in here, just right there, and we reversed. And one of the reasons that was the case is we saw a pretty big disappointment in Goldman Sachs earnings results yesterday. While on the other hand, Morgan Stanley had a good earnings report and um, moved higher. So um, Goldman Sachs being a part of the Dow, that uh, moved the Dow lower yesterday and left us with a little bit of a uncertain situation here in the market. So when we take a look at the diamonds chart, we can certainly see that our technicals remain very bullish here. We're, we've got our 50 up through our 200. As a matter of fact, our 50 is trying to cross up through the, the 500 here. And our shorter term moving averages are trying to hold this area as support. But we also want to um, recognize that there is significant overhead resistance yet in this chart. And although we have defeated the downside trend here and held it as support, we still have some questions whether or not we'll be able to push right on through to the upside. So keeping an eye on this, if those bears were to follow through today to the downside, then I would look for maybe a little bit of price support right down in here. That's where we're going to catch some of those price levels in here, kind of holding on to that support level, holding on to this support of that um, consolidation area if we were to pull back and rest into that area. No harm, no foul if we hold that area. Where the real question comes into play is if the diamonds or the bears were um, strong enough to push down through there and then actually break down lower into this area of price support. So far, no signs of that. And we have seen a tremendous willingness to buy here in the market, um, albeit on relatively low volume. If we take a look at um, um, our upside potential, if those bulls find inspiration, well, a retest up here of this high would be the, the next likely place to say, hey, we, we reject yesterday's selling and we want to buy, buy, buy and push us right back up into here. And if they can break through there, well, then we start looking out here to these next resistance levels in the chart to see if we can push on up through those. So watch that closely. Now, if we look at our SPY, SPY, had also had a good day and we've certainly seen those technicals improve here but we do have to keep in mind that our 50 is still underneath our 200 and we're up here um, ranging around that 200 day moving average and overall we remain in a bear trend unfortunately that is still the case and we're trying to push that up and push on through there let's see if the data will allow that to occur today now if we take a look where we are right now as you can see we ran into a little bit of price resistance there yesterday pulling back and putting that spy well with maybe a little bit of a uncertain candle pattern a little bit of a tiny little spinning top doji or a shooting star unfortunately those little tiny candles right now are big price moves making this a very dangerous market um, because we can whip and move so hard so fast both directions 
boy, it is a risky proposition to um, over trade or to really press heavily into this market. So from here, as you can see, we've got a little bit of price resistance right in here. We've got these little two highs right over here uh, providing that little resistance. If those bulls can find inspiration today, well, then maybe we push on through and we test levels like that. If you'll notice across here, we're also pushing into a little bit of price resistance levels. If they can push through there, then I would suggest that we're going to come up here and test these resistance highs. And I want you to notice that this is a fairly big area of price resistance in the chart. So watch that carefully. If we can find enough bullish inspiration to push up there. And by the way, that is a big move. Um, but we'll want to be watching carefully for that potential. If those bears were to find inspiration and follow through with that little bit of a um, shooting star or uncertainty there yesterday, then a pullback to test this price support right in here um, would seem the likely level. And here's the problem that we face as retail traders. These point moves are huge. These are big potential moves that could come in the market, either up or down, making a very dangerous situation. It's really going to be dependent on how this data comes out and how the market reacts to that data. So watch that carefully. And if the bears were to push down through that level, then we come all the way back down here again big price moves possible. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ had the best of yesterday, the only index to really finish the day green and positive, kind of a um, spinning top doji here on that candle. Notice that we're still trying to struggle with this resistance area in the chart. And this is a substantial area of price resistance. We need something to really push us up through all of this congestion area in the chart. And while we continue to try to do that, we have to continue to remind ourselves that the QQQ remains in a bear downtrend. So while we're trying to pump this up, we've improved certainly here with the price crossing above our 50 day moving average, but you'll notice we're still quite a ways below our 200 day moving average. And remember next week, we're gonna have Netflix um, this week, but next week we're gonna start hitting those big tech earnings reports. And um, I would I would be surprised if they're really great. So watch that carefully here. Now, if we were to take a look at um, those uh, bullish inspiration, if we find that bullish inspiration, then we need to break this resistance. We need to pump right on through there. And if we can pump through that, well, then we start looking at some levels right up in here. Maybe we hit some of these little highs and test some of these le levels here in the chart. Now, keeping in mind, that's a big point move for the QQQ and if we can push on through there then we're up in here so um, big potential swings are possible in the market if those bears find inspiration well where's the support in this chart if we don't hold this area right here well there's not a whole lot of price support under this move here and you could see we could fall pretty dramatically maybe into an area right in here we catch a little bit of that gap support in here um, some big candles but these are big potential point moves and that's showing us the uncertainty that retail is experiencing right now here in the market and the real level of danger that we could experience here with some substantial um, uh, intraday whipsaws and big overnight reversals possible and whatever happens just kind of happens to you so it really tells us that we have to be a little bit careful not to over trade this market until some of this uncertainty clears up if we take a look at IWM well IWM is one of those indexes with the Dow that has broken that downside trend finally to the upside, but it hasn't proven yet that it can hold it as support. So we run that danger here as this continues to stretch into these price resistance levels that this could easily and it could substantially and quickly reverse to come back and test some of these price levels of support in the chart. Remember, we don't officially have a breakout until that breakout can prove to hold a higher low 
in that chart. Now it is entirely possible that we could just break right on through here and then put that higher low up here. But let's watch carefully and remember, these are some very, very big potential moves that could be created in this chart. So watch that closely. Um, if the bears find inspiration here on the day, well, um, that would be um, a logical pullback um, area in that chart. And maybe even further, if we're to catch some of these support levels right through here. Um, so we've got um, a big potential drop that could occur in IWM. If we can push through this resistance here to the top side in IWM, well notice we're going to be running into some very big levels of price resistance here in the chart. And maybe we can push up into here. Um, again, big price moves in the market making for a dangerous situation and technically challenging situation for retail traders. Um, if we take a look at our VIX, our VIX yesterday rallied a little bit and then sank back. We don't see much fear here at all in the market and it makes me worry that we have a little bit of complacency building in here considering the weakness of our economic numbers. If you took a look at that Empire State uh, manufacturing number that was a horrible number yesterday and we by and large just ignored it um, that doesn't seem to matter because what we're seeming to be favoring here is this narrative that suddenly the fed is going to pivot even though fed member after fed member after fed member after fed member says that's not going to happen but we'll see. Um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear here in the market. It may be just a little bit of complacency considering the actual data points that we're seeing on the economy. So uh, keep that in mind. If we hold this support in here um, on the chart, then the bulls, uh, excuse me, those bears may still have an opportunity to push back. But if we continue to follow this downtrend, continue to break these lows here in the chart, the bulls should have their uh, way with the market pushing us lower. It's a remarkable situation heading into recession that there is no fear in the market. If we take a look at our T2122, this is also pretty darn perplexing. We didn't, we barely pulled back yesterday. Even though the Dow dropped pretty substantially at one point down 400 points, um, pulled back substantially. T2122 barely budged. We are still extremely elevated, holding a 97 number here in T2122. As we come into some market moving economic reports today. So if we find some bullish news, well, maybe we can pump this really hard and pin this right up here at 100. But I can tell you over the course of history, I have never, ever seen a time when we've been able to sustain that uh, for very long. So kind of keep that in mind as we pin this up here to the top side. We've opened a pretty big opportunity to the downside if those data points happen to disappoint. So be careful of the whipsaw um, here in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2108, same thing is true. We barely budged here yesterday, even though the Dow sank pretty hard. We're still up here in a very rarefied air situation here on T2108, noticing that it is a very rare occasion when we're able to push beyond this point. And by the way, I want to point out this goes back, this chart is going back to um, almost 2017. And that is a rare occasion where we can break that area. And when we do, we don't hold it very long. So 73, almost 74% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. That is a very extended condition in the short term of the market. And T2107 shows us the same extension. We are stretching big time here as T2107 continues to stretch up. And it is also stretching into some a very uh, congested areas in this chart and uh, very rare to see us up here or be able to hold this kind of a stretch for very long. So I think this puts us in that danger position here in the market. Watch that closely. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but watch it closely for that potential big reversal that could occur 
and begin at just any time. So uh, be ready for that. And then let's take a look at our T2101. Well, our T2101, even though our volume remains low, continues to show that we have this tremendous momentum to the upside. Now, the only way that can happen and volume remain relatively low is institutional buying. And they're really working hard to try and inspire buyers to race into the market. Now, I don't know if they really believe this is um, a good economic condition or if they're really trying to bait retail traders into buying so that they have someone to sell to as that potential recession comes into play. So watch that carefully as we stretch here, also in T2101. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, it's chock full of market moving events this morning. Um, we've already seen the mortgage applications come in this morning and they came in better than expected, up pretty substantially as those um, refis and things like that start to spark back up here with um, rates declining. But you'll want to keep in mind that the big data points are still on the way. We've got PPI here this morning. We're expecting that to show an, an inflationary decline. Um, that would be bullish for the market, but unfortunately, we're also facing a retail sales number. Consensus is expecting that to weaken. So which number has the biggest power here? Well, your guess is as good as mine. We're going to follow that up with an industrial production number. And I got to tell you, we haven't seen very good numbers when it comes to our manufacturing or industrial numbers here in the market. They have been extremely weak. And we, maybe we get a, an improvement here all of a sudden. But watch that one closely. If that continues to show weakness, that may add to a little bit of bearish pressure. Um, then we are going to have a little bit later in the day we've got business inventories that's important uh, business inventories show us that if inventories are rising consumers are not spending that would be bearish for the market so watch that if they show an improvement there that would be bullish for the market and then we're going to start getting into some housing numbers housing market index this was a very bearish number last time um, we'll see if we can catch a little bit of an improvement here on that today and then we've got several Fed speakers. We've got a uh, beige book and a Treasury International at the end of the day. And if that's not the end of it, we're going to face tomorrow morning housing starts before the bell, jobless claims before the bell, and the Philly Fed, which has been a very bearish number here um, lately for our market to deal with. So watch those closely we're not through with this craziness here on the day now earnings continue to ramp up here we got a little bit more on the earnings calendar today we're going to ramp up a little bit more tomorrow we get a little tiny break on friday and then it's going to get absolutely nuts for the next few weeks um, hitting some big numbers of earnings uh, notable earnings reports as we start to dive into those big tech reports so first off we've got alcoa alcoa COA will be reporting today. This has been moving up with a lot of the other metals and commodities moving up strongly here as the dollar weakens. So keep an eye on Alcoa. We've got um, DFX. Um, I think I've typed a wrong symbol in there. I've got to check that one. We've got um, FHN that will be reporting today, First Horizons. We've got Fuller that will be reporting today. We've got Kinder Morgan on that list for today. It will be interesting to see how um, energy companies produce, natural gas companies produce. So keep an eye on that report today. We've got uh, PNC Financial. We've got um, PL. Yep, PLD um, reporting here today. So keep an eye on that. Um, we're going to hear from Charles Schwab here today, and we're going to hear from WTFC. Those would be the notables for today that have that potential to moving us around um, here in the market significantly. So watch those closely.
How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Now I'm running short on time this morning, too much explanation on those indexes, but let's run through a few of these here today that are looking pretty darn good. We are seeing a lot of stocks coming up out of bottoms. Um, take a look at stocks like Generac, uh, breaking downtrends, pushing through 50 day moving average levels. Any rest or pullback in here sets up a very nice bullish opportunity in the chart. Make sure we're following trend. And we're seeing that in a lot of places. TTWO would be another pushing up through that 50, trying to show some signs for that upside move. We've got AMD breaking through that 50 day, a higher low up here that can finally break this downtrend. Um, would be something um, to be paying attention to. NVIDIA um, is another one. Big move here in NVIDIA. Zooming to the upside needs a rest or pullback to set up an opportunity. So we're seeing a lot of that going on here in the market. Other places that I think are really interesting. Take a look at um, refining. Oh my goodness, refining has been strong. Schlumberger moving up hard. Halliburton showing lots of strength. And if you've noticed, one of those big inflationary numbers seems to be creeping up, and that is oil. Um, we saw gas prices right here in our little area up 20 cents a gallon just yesterday as those prices continue to move back to the upside, which could add to the inflationary pressures here in the market if that continues to march forward. So watch that carefully. Halliburton looking good um, to the upside and may actually break out of some of these levels. Other places, I think you still have to really pay attention to gold. We had a Bank of Japan decision um, yesterday not to adjust their um, yen yield curve. And as you can see, that is having some positive effects in the pre-market here on gold. We're trying to push higher. Silver has been incredibly strong. Copper has moved up nicely and copper is setting up for another upside move. If that holds in here, consolidates and rests, it may have to wait to come out here to that trend, but keep an eye on copper. Also seeing some really good um, moves in um, steel. Um, steel has been um, very, very strong here. Um, MT up um, um, very strong. Uh, uh, Cleveland up strong. Um, US Steel showing bullishness. Um, STLD showing lots of strength. Trying to deal with some resistance in that in all time highs here on um, Steel Dynamics, but also very, very strong. So keep an eye on a lot of those charts. With that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Big shout out to everyone who does leave those comments on the channel. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it and try to answer all of those. Y'all take care. Be safe. Could be a wild and woolly day, and I think tomorrow could be the same. So make sure you're protecting yourself and make sure you understand exactly the risks that you're taking in this market. These are big potential moves that could occur. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you back here bright and early Thursday morning.